So general introduction. So what is Activate? Activate is um, software you can use to model and simulate continuous and discrete dynamical systems. And you can, of course, mix signal-based and physical-based modeling. Those are the two approaches I'm talking about, and we want to have a focus on this today. What's signal-based and what's physical modeling? Furthermore, you can do optimization, which is a very important thing for engineers because we always want to optimize our parameters of our models to a maximum or minimum. Activate also can handle simulink models, which is also important for most of you because I think many of you already work with Simulink and you want to reuse your old models in Activate. So you just can import them and it works pretty good. Furthermore, you can perform co-simulations such as functional, functional mockup interface. I think uh, a few of you already heard about the FMI. It's a standard where you can exchange models from one simulation tool to another simulation tool and vice versa. There are two different kinds of FMIs. One is the uh, model exchange, where just the model is uh, um, yeah, converted to a package. And then there's also the co-simulation, where also the solver is um, also put in, in that package. So, why system simulation? Why system simulation? Models are idealized images of real things and make it possible to better understand and optimize scenarios as well as making predictions. So, that means, for example, if you want to develop a new car and you want to see how this car will behave in certain scenarios, you want to simulated in different scenarios and you can make new predictions with this, change parameters. So that's the basic idea. Why are we doing this? Because real tests are expensive. Imagine you develop an aeroplane and at the first test this aeroplane uh, make a crash. <laughs> so this is going to be very expensive and also uh, the second point, real tests can be dangerous. So I think this is going to be a serious uh, situation for a pilot. And um, so we want to make predictions by using system simulation, how our systems will behave. And not just for the physical reasons, also for the economical reasons. We can weigh the cost and benefits of our idea that we try to develop. And if the simulation results are good and um, the system seems promising. Um, this is also a part of the decision criteria if a system is going to be developed. 